Hello, and today we are doing a caramelized onion and pancetta risotto. This recipe has come to us from Backstreet. That's a restaurant in town, um, and it's probably one of the most adventurous ones we've got. Um, and so, yes, you're gonna you're gonna love it. And what ingredients is there, Greg? Uh, one teaspoon oil. Uh, one teaspoon of oil. Have I just said your name right or wrong? Right. Yeah. Yep. So we got oil. Yep. Next. Uh, two onions. Two onions. Yep. Uh, pancetta. Pancetta. You, did you struggle saying yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So pancetta. It looks like anywhere else in the world it would be bacon larden, but uh, uh, that someone will tell me what's the difference. But there's pancetta. Uh, five garlic cloves. Five garlic cloves. Yeah, we've got. I'm just showing you one, but we've got the other four hid, hidden down here. Yep. Uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper? Yeah, salt and pepper, all right? If you are getting a hamper from us, you will have salt and pepper included in your hamper. If not, then uh, if you found us, because um, this is 2021, if you found us in a couple of years' time, obviously it's just any salt and pepper. Uh, wine. Wine, again, I've got a bottle here that we'll be using, but if you are uh, receiving a hamper, you will get it in some form of container. If you are not, then uh, use a wine that you like, I presume, not a sweet wine, um, to get yourself a, a dry one. Uh, risotto rice. Risotto rice, yeah. Now there's the interesting, so this risotto rice, the, the way it works is it absorbs the uh, the liquid as we cook. Um, so rather than cooking it in solid, just water, um, like you would normal rice, obviously this can absorb the flavor of the pancetta oil, the onions and stuff like that. Um, do not go and buy yourself in a couple of years time um, the uh, ordinary rice, because it won't work. So if you're getting a pack from us, there's your risotto rice. Uh, two stock cubes. Two stock cubes. Two stock cubes. Yeah, thank you. I was losing it then. Stock cubes. Yep. Uh, 50 grams of parmesan. Oh, parmesan. So you would have got a bag of parmesan. This is 100 grams. You are splitting this. 50 for this meal and 50 for the chicken parmigiana that you're going to be having. Yep. Uh, some water. Some water. I don't need to show you water. Some water. Yep. Uh, women. Lemon, it's actually the lemon juice that you will need, so you will be receiving a lemon. And butter. Butter, butter. You are going to use, does it say an amount? Uh, I think 20 it's just, grams, yeah. So you're gonna be using 20 grams, so you take a, 20 grams of this, and then five grams, just a small little bit for the chicken parmigiana, that leaves you 225 for the syrup sponge. So that's a 250 G gram um, salted butter. And is there one more ingredient? Uh, no, that's everything. Uh, hello, so I've shown you the ingredients already um, for the caramelized onion and pancetta risotto, but uh, made a few changes or I've done a few things to speed it up for myself. So we have chopped up the two onions as small as we can um, and the garlic we've also chopped up. So just to speed things up, you'll see that now. All that we do is we start with a, a, a pan as such and we put it on, we put it on a low to medium heat. Uh, we are then gonna add some oil. Um, and uh, we're then going to add our onions. Now I don't want to bore you, so that's the two onions that you would have received in the pack, sliced up and so on. Um, it takes about 15 minutes now for them to slowly caramelize. Caramelize means they, they start turning brown, they start golden in on the outside because the sugar as such starts crusting or there will be an official phrase for it. But, so as not to... So as not to bore you, we're now going to cut to 15 minutes time and we'll show you a, a close up. Okay, so we've been uh, cooking them for about 15 minutes. They've gone down. Uh, you can take yours further if you do it. So anyway, we have got um, some of the pancetta. You get a little pack like this. It would have been in your fridge. All right, and what we just do, we're turning them in. Put the whole packet in. It will start sizzling up. Now your onions will be quite dry. So... By this time, by this time in the cooking process, your onions would have uh, dried up quite a lot and most of the oil will be gone. But the good thing is, you know, we put the bacon or the pancetta uh, as such in, the fat will start coming out and make it nice and soggy again. So we do this for five minutes, then we start adding garlic. Hi, so you see now that we've added the bacon, it started crisping up. So the next thing we add is the garlic. We also add a tablespoon, is it? Teaspoon of herbs. You will be getting it in a little tub. Um, so let me just get a teaspoon of this. So this is mixed herbs. So this is another layer of flavor going in. Risotto is about layers of flavor. Um, 
So a little teaspoon. Okay. I'm just going to stir this. That smells lovely. Right, <laughs> that's perfect. Now, at this same stage, we are going to be adding, is it the rice we add? And how much do we have to add? Uh, 400 grams. We add 400 grams. You guys will be getting a little tub with a weighed out 400 grams of, of this. This that I've got here, which we're having to use is, um, da -da 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 -da. let's have a look, 500 grams. So I'm going to be putting most of this in. This is risotto rice. That was quite funny. As soon as I opened it, because it was vacuum packed, um, you could hear it sort of like go, yay, we're all coming out. So I, I, <laughs> right, I pour this, my wife's now looking at me as if I'm very silly. I'm sorry, I never said I was good at this. Um, I'm putting the rice now in here. I'm leaving myself about 100. Well, there's probably about 20 here and there's 80 here. Right, we'll clean this by the next time you look. Then we start stirring this in for how long? A minute. So we let this brown, so all the oils and the bits on the bottom, the, the, the butter, the, the fat from the, the pancetta is now all going to be going into this rice. So when you cook this now, it does seem quite dry on the bottom, so uh, keep stirring it. Then we're going to add 100 ml of white wine. You have a second. Um, polystyrene or paper cup with a lid on with your 100 ml in. Okay, so that's our 100 ml. I'm gonna give it a stir. And hopefully my sound would have picked up the um, the sound of that so two stock cubes going now I'm putting two stock cubes going you've got to remember that stock cubes have you'll have these uh, separated has sugar in it so uh, of sugar mm. salt I keep you know it has salt in it what we need to do is make sure that at the end when you start tasting it that you don't over kill it with it by adding too much uh, extra salt so we've got the two in my wife's watching me I'm getting lots of unhappy faces So the smell has changed once again. So what's the next stage? Stir continuously until the wine is evaporated. So I have to stir continuously. That looks like the wine is gone. So you'll see there that it's a creamy consistency and obviously it's as, each time you add the water and it absorbs it, it goes sort of higher and higher up the saucepan. So we've got a, a nice big saucepan's worth now. So the last, <laughs> the last thing we need to do is put some lemon juice in and then the, the, the Parmesan or the, the dry cheese. Or, so. So I'm just, I'm just squeezing this through a, a sieve so that um, any pill or anything goes. And any cuts that are in your hand when you squeeze the lemon, you will be reminded of. Ouch. At the same time that we put that in, we're going to put the rest of this. Remember, you've got a pack of this. You would have used half one night and half this evening. And 
And we'll just get a close up of this. So we've added the, the lemon and the cheese. I have checked that it's cooked. It's all cooked. And this is where you would add seasoning and try it and stuff like that. We're obviously not here gonna do that. But what we will do uh, is serve up a little bit. Now it's actually gonna be my our family's tea so that we don't waste any. But here's a plate. Now, when you get this in the restaurant, and this is Back Street in Dumfries, when you get this in the restaurant, I believe that they would sprinkle on uh, some chives. We think that we've looked at the recipe, but to save us a bit of grief and not having to get 150 bunches of chives, we've missed that out. Obviously though, you could serve this with whatever you want. Now I've done a little uh, plateful there because obviously we're, we're keeping this and, and someone behind the camera is gonna eat this. Um, but you could eat this just on its own or you could serve it with something something else that you like. Um, but yeah, that is a caramelized onion and pancetta risotto from Backstreet. Uh, thank you very much.